Experienced users of word processor applications know that digital writing tools make it easy to blend existing text with new text to create an updated document or to produce something entirely new. They also understand that options for formatting fonts add a touch of professionalism to the document and can make it easier to read. Google Docs makes it easy to create and use word processing files called Google Documents. Not only can you upload existing word processor files and revise existing text to generate an updated document, you can start from scratch by creating a new document. You can also format the font in a document to impact its appearance and readability. You are going to use Google Docs to write an annual report. To do this, you will upload an existing report, add new text, and format the font according to the report guidelines. The Google Docs main page provides a quick overview of our existing Google Docs files. Although we could create a document from scratch, it's much faster to upload a document we already have. Google Docs provides an easy method to upload document types, such as those created in Microsoft Office applications, OpenOffice, or Star Office. Let's try uploading a file made in Microsoft Word. Let's take a moment to review the Upload Files window that we see here. This window is where we can browse our computer for the files we want to upload. It's also where we can decide if we want to place the file in a folder when it's uploaded and if we want the file to be public or private. Let's look on our computer for our file. Here we are looking at a list of files stored on the computer's desktop. The file we want to upload is called Annual Report. Now we see the annual report file under the Select Files and Destination heading. If we upload the file as a Word document type, we won't be able to edit. We do want to make changes, so we need to choose the File Conversion option that will convert this file to a Google Docs format. Since we don't want to place the file in a folder, but we want the file to remain private, we will keep these default settings too. To upload the file, we just need to click the Start Upload button. The green check mark indicates it's been uploaded. We also have the option to upload additional files, but right now we only need this file. To access it, we need to return to our Google Docs main page. Now we can use the contents of the file we just uploaded without having to retype everything it contained. Annual Report is at the top of the list of files on the Google Docs main page. We'll open this file by clicking the title. Let's begin editing our document by placing the insertion point at the beginning of the first paragraph. We can make changes to this document just as if it were within any other word processing application. When you click Next, we'll add a sentence for you. The default font for Google Documents is Arial, and the default font size is 11 points. To change the font or font size before adding any text, simply choose a new font or font size from the font list or font size list. To change text already entered, we'll first need to select the text. Let's change the font and font size of the R staff line. Let's first alter the font of this heading. We can access the available fonts on the font list. Let's change the font from Arial to Arial Black, which should help set this text apart from the rest. While our text is still selected, we can change the size of the font to make it just a little bit larger. That made an impact on our document, and it was easy to do using the tools available in Google Documents. Now that you know a little bit about the features of Google Docs and how simple it is to format text, you can see why it's such a great choice for Internet users.